guys. So got everything out. Got the dual mass flywheel out. Um, I'll show you up inside behind uh, the engine. Uh, the rear main seal wasn't leaking, but still gonna change it out. Change out the gaskets because, again, might as well do the maintenance and I already purchased it. Always a good thing to do just to make sure you have everything set properly. So on the lower side, we have the M20 um, flywheel, flywheel, clutch, um, pressure plate, and throwout bearing. Top side, we have the M42 pressure plate, flywheel, and, or sorry, clutch disc, flywheel, and throwout bearing. So, pretty cool thing that I just noticed and as you can see, this flywheel is pretty burnt up with um, hot spots and it's a pretty heavy piece of junk. Um, let's see if I can show you guys the movements that you get. Basically, that slight rocking, that's what the, the flywheel does. It does that to um, compensate for you letting your foot off the, the clutch and that's what gives it the smooth engagement and that's the reason why for this clutch disc it's unsprung but for the single mass flywheel it's a sprung clutch disc. Um, that pretty much compensates I guess they did that just to make it a little bit easier and I guess a little bit lighter clutch feeling um, for me it doesn't really matter to me that much especially since it's not gonna really work for me especially with holding the power but a cool thing that I just noticed um, when I tried fitting this on is you can actually notice the flywheel jump a bit give me one sec It'll grip sometimes and then you'll see that it starts to pop yeah just like that here you go so basically you can actually physically see what happens the clutches the clutch disc is basically hopping and skipping so sometimes you'll get smooth engagement and then sometimes um, it's a little bit difficult to kind of do but you apply slight pressure and you can see it jump basically and that's where I'm having my issue yeah just like that that little jump right there but pretty cool to see outside the car without it actually running because you would never see what a clutch disc looks like when it's skipping so I'm just gonna slap these together really quickly uh, just to show you an about measurement, not really completely and exactly. I'm gonna tighten down everything because it's already been done in the forums. And another piece of information that seems correct is that the size of or the throwout bearing is the same for the M42 and M20. So this is not exactly perfectly level and everything, but as you can see, everything looks pretty much the same, the same height and everything. Um, bring it a little bit closer, you can see. Um, using my little camera grid lines, it lines up pretty, pretty well. So again, I'm gonna go with the, the M20 one that should be a little bit stronger than the M42 um, throwout bearing anyways just because it's built to handle more power and torque because the six cylinder motor as you can see this one I can spin it very easily this other one I know that it's pretty new because it's pretty waxy 
which is how they come from factory when they're brand new. Um, also, slap this one on really quick. Show you guys the height. Actually, correct like um, line of forms has its um. They line up pretty exact for the most part. Um, only difference really is what seems to be with the flywheel, um, the teeth on the ring gear. The one on the M42 looks a lot bigger and deeper than the ones on the M20. So that's where uh, you have the issue of having to either change out the starter or change out the ring gear to the M20 ring gear into your M42 starter. I have an M20 starter, so I think I might just slap that one in because that might be the easier option. But other than that, lining this up, let me see if I can find a, a level really quickly. Hey, do you have a level nearby? Yeah. Give me one sec, guys. I'll be back. All right. It's not going to be exactly perfect, but again, this has already been done before. And because this one's not all the way down, both of them aren't all the way down, this one's a little bit higher, but... Basically, when they sit down and they're level, then the side will come up just a bit and they'll be level. So, for the most part, most of the information seems correct. Again, if you look down here, this ring gear is a little bit higher because of the surface that it's on. So, um, could set it up, but I can already see that it's going to work and it's already been done plenty of times. So, uh, Basically, if you're going to do this, you can also double check those things, but everything lines up for the most part pretty much. So, I'll be getting ready to slowly throw this bad boy in. Alright, just to quickly show you guys, if you guys remember from my first video, this is the flywheel that I got from uh, Clearwater. And this flywheel and this flywheel is actually the same exact thing. The only difference is either someone swapped out the ring gear on it because as you can see and if you notice this ring gear is the same exact ring gear for the M42 but the problem with this flywheel was I didn't realize this when I purchased it the ring gear is not properly seated onto the flywheel and the next thing is you see this back spacing they lighten the flywheel because this distance from here to here should be um, greater. So they just shaved down this to make it lighter, which made it 17 pounds, um, which I measured. So this is a little bit useless to me right now. And again, if you, you notice, there's a slight step up on the flywheel, which you have to make sure that your flywheel has if you have an M20 flywheel. Because if not, then the clutch will not grab and it will slip and burn basically like um, what happened to this one. But since this one's not that bad, I can still use it because as you can see, clutch is just slipping just a little bit. And as I showed you on the flywheel, I maybe can find some pictures of it before. But as you can see, the distance from here to here is a lot greater than on the other flywheel because they actually lighten the flywheel. And that's um, one thing that people do, but uh, in my opinion, the easier way to set this up and get it to work because um, you need the clearance in the back is either... I'm going to ch double check to see if the um, M20 ring that goes over the flywheel this one is the same size as the m 4 one 
Um, in the forums, I was told to use the M42 one, but I still pull this one off and double check the size just to see if they're the same. So that'd be a little bit extra information and confirmation on that for you guys. So um, really quickly, I'm go underneath. Let's see. There you go. That's how the rear of the M42 motor looks without the uh, flywheel on. I already redid the um, upper oil pan gasket because that was leaking for me. So what I'm going to do is clean this stuff up. Um, just inspect the inside here. Um, definitely going to remove this uh, rear main seal because I have a new one. And then there's uh, another basically gasket that goes around here. I got the Victor Rhines one, which is a pretty good one. It's a metal one, plus I'm gonna end up using silicone on that just as some extra protection. But since I have it, I'm just gonna pull it off, change it, clean it up, make sure I won't have any issues with that. Um, and then also gonna end up changing my crankshaft seal if I have enough time. And I have to swap over a starter because again, the uh, starter gear is different for the M42 versus the M20. So I need to use that M20 starter that I have so the gear that matches up. And I can show you guys that in just a second. Okay, and I'm not sure if you guys can notice that 100%, but as you can see, maybe from um, rewinding the video, you can see the visual difference between the M20 starter and the M42. The gear is um, slightly smaller, slightly larger on the, um, the M42 starter. So when I get that starter out, then I'll show you guys a picture of them side to side so you can get a better view of that.